why is sustainability important to economic development? Why take it seriously at all? And the answer is very simple. If we don't take it seriously, particularly in light of global competition between cities for economic wealth and economic uh, prosperity, cities that are not highly sustainable will fail, and the cities that are sustainable will succeed. Aside from it being right, we have to do it to, uh, to be competitive economically. Energy efficiency is the cleanest energy resource, and it is also the most labor intensive. So happily, um, energy efficiency, it does a tremendous number of positive things. It saves energy, of course, lowers carbon, but it also saves a lot of money. And in this particular period of uh, economic transition, it's really critical for homeowners and business owners to be saving a lot of money. So energy efficiency does all of these things. And given that Philadelphia and our region have so many old buildings that are extremely leaky and inefficient, there's huge opportunities everywhere to save a lot of energy. And that, of course, is going to create a lot of jobs. We've come up with a couple of tools to do that. One is called the Greenworks Loan Fund. And that, you know, in the simplest sense, is really just a fund that offers low interest loans to companies to incentivize them to make their businesses more sustainable, particularly to lower their energy use and reduce their greenhouse gas um, emissions. We're really excited about the ambition of the goals laid out in Greenworks and to support the retrofit goal of 15% of homes in the city, we have to have a much larger workforce and this, uh, these two things are completely tied together. To become the greenest city in the nation, we must have the greenest workforce in the nation. And training this workforce is really critical. The Green Jobs Training Center is uh, brand new. We just opened this space in March and are expected to train more than 700 people this year. We are building a, a continuum of training all the way from high school to technical training to community college and four-year programs. And so this apprenticeship model will be the first weatherization installer apprenticeship in the nation. Cities are inherently sustainable because of their density, because of their transit opportunities and because of the proximity they allow people to live and communicate with each other and the efficiencies that come with that. The idea of a, of a high-tech or a high-tech energy campus in a city is a very natural act. The Navy Yard is a place where that can be accommodated in a rather serious way. Um, we've been working on what we're calling the Clean Energy Campus, which is essentially a group of government actors, nonprofits, businesses, coming together to share research and investment in clean technology to create a sort of hub and a nexus for the next generation of the idea economy, the clean technology economy here in Philadelphia. And yet, it is a 10 minute subway ride from the center of the city, 10 minute subway ride from major, five major universities, all of whom who, uh, that are doing research in this subject.